Mario Yamasaki, our referee here tonight. Are you ready? Are you ready? Anderson Silva, Quicksilver. And here we go. Not many have defeated Anderson Silva. Two men that come to mind, Rio Chonin and Sakasi. Rio Chonin caught him with <laughs> a, a technique that looks like it should have been in a Jackie Chan movie. A flying scissor takedown to a heel hook. It was absolutely spectacular. And he had softened Anderson up with some leg kicks earlier in that fight. And Takasi caught him with a triangle from the mouth. Who could say that he wasn't properly trained for either one of those fights and that the Takasi fight happened early in his career? But now the Anderson Silva that we see in the UFC is a different animal. We see the complete, fully formed Anderson Silva who has learned from those past mistakes and those defeats. He lets him up. Takes a couple of the body. Trying to come around with the left. Wow, these guys are just slugging it. Great relentless pace. Both men exchanging. Oh, just missed. Under three minutes now. And he decides to let him up. These guys are just throwing. Are this you is, kidding this me? Is like a movie, Mike. Ah, the crowd reacting. They are just going toe to toe. Toe to toe. Working in the clinch. Man, that's a heavy hand. Toe to toe, Joe. Toe to toe. Under two minutes remain. Back and forth they go. I don't know how these guys are still standing. Anderson, the Spider Silva. If you fall into his clinch, it's a pretty good chance the fight's going to be over. He is unbelievably devastating from the clinch and incredibly accurate. One of the things that's scariest about Anderson is that not just that his strikes come so fast and so powerful, is they land with pinpoint precision. Basic recklessness and no abandon. 45 seconds. Oh! To the head! To the head! 